Should be good. Is this thing on? Okay, it is. That is uh, lovely. Okay, you got the picture. Live streaming. Awesome. Um, yo, low grader. What is up, man? First person in the stream. That is a feat that not many people have. Uh, Zach N. Hello. Um, what is up, Longy Vulture? Everybody. Um, live streaming. Okay, just got had to tweet out that I'm live real quick. What is up, everybody? Hold on. Let me get the pop out chat set up. Pro YouTube streamer here. Um, I had a dream that you died and I was sad. Well, happily, I did not die, man. So no need to worry about that. As in, why on YouTube? I always stream on YouTube. Now I'm a YouTube stream uh, supremacist. It's just more ideal. Um, where is the Asus ROG Harpy Ace? I kind of just put that mouse away after the review. Um, it's nothing like that I plan to really come back too much. Have you gotten your Atlantis Mini? No, I'm so fucking jealous of everybody who has. Because um, they told me I shipped it out a few days ago, but like, I checked the tracking. It's still in China. And it's like, come on, bro. How big are your hands? Uh, like 21 by 10 and a half or 11. When is X2 Zebra? It is mid-February now. Because it got somehow... What the fuck? Camera. Focus. Um, Wait, what's up with my camera, dude? Uh, but it got pushed back to after Chinese New Year. I don't know why or how that is happening. This camera is too expensive to not be uh, pristinely focused, but you get the idea. Is it like racist? I don't know what's wrong. Are 4K Hertz mice worth it? I don't think it's worth it to buy a mouse um, exclusively because it has 4K Hertz, but in theory, like better mouse tech, better mouse input is always going to be more ideal. Um, so I would say if a mouse has 4K Hertz and you like it, yeah, go for it. Is it really that bad? Why is the price so high? Uh, the ROG Harp Ace? It's just not like, it's not amazing. It just doesn't warrant the price tag. But I do feel like there is some gaming mouse price inflation that's going on. And you guys are going to get what I'm talking about very soon. HTX, bro, I once again, I wish I was here. I don't know if it's on the way. But that mouse seems insane. Fucking 36 grams. Have you got the, uh, just read that. Any news on LGG mouse? I was literally going to ask that today. Beard growing in nicely, sheesh. Yeah, I think today, or like this time is finally the time I'm just not gonna shave, um, like after a week. Just gonna see what happens. Enter the uh, face pube era. Does the Bruce Lee mouse make you feel like water? Indeed, man. Um, it's the best variant beyond, besides the Boardsy variant, which makes you feel like me. And uh, that's obviously ideal. Um, what's the difference between Zebra X2 and normal X2? Uh, TTC Gold switches, which in my opinion, tested basically every mechanical switch inside the X2. And the TTC, you know, the fucking uh, Huano blue shell pink dots, had a Freudian slip there, um, were what the best option was. So yeah, Huano blue shell pink dot switches and a better coating. When Zebra Mouse? Mid-February, after... Chinese New Year. I don't know how it got pushed back, but they were like, had to focus on the quality, got pushed back, but it's going to happen. Shocking stream? You know it, man. Show fee? I have these new slippers on, um, but I don't feel like showing off. There's some like moccasins or something. Very classy. Any update on XMZW? Uh, I presume that's XM2W. And no. The wire, like the XM2WE. The 3371, they said it shipped out. Um, or I don't know if it shipped out, but I gave them my info, so it's kind of in like limbo. I might just buy a unit if I don't hear anything by like Monday. How's the mouse pad? The Pulsar mouse pad? It's decent. It's in between like the Rocket. It feels somewhat like the Rocket Jump Ninja pad in terms of texture, but also like an LGG Saturn, like somewhere in the mix. It's a unique cloth pad. I'm not sure if it's coded. Uh, might just be like a standard like heat printed so i'll get some details about that but this base is fucking insane like the way it just peels off the desk it's really top tier but it's not like pour on so i don't know i just need more info on the pad uh, but without like all of the specifics it's a really sick pad whereby xm2we and game gear official website maybe max gaming has it if you're an eu but besides that i'm not really sure um Kovacs releases a video two years ago for optimum mouse grip. Why are we bothering with mouse sizes? That is so troll. Yeah, everybody just needs to 
Go to the Kovacs official mouse grip video and just copy that. Which skates better for hard surface? I would say PTFE. Yo, Zujo, what is up, man? Is that you from all all those years ago? What's up, Bacata? How is everybody doing? Who watches boards on 1.5 speed? I feel like a lot of people. Um, I personally always watch my show on 1.5 speed or actually 2x speed when I'm like making the timestamps. It's just very weird listening to myself on 1.0 speed. But for streams, it's a mandatory. Give us TTC Golds next time. I don't know why I was thinking of TTC Golds, but uh, they actually like did not feel good. They were pretty heavy. They just like weren't super spammable. And I did not think there was like a big benefit in terms of tactility. But yeah, I did test those. Arson Zero or Saturn Pro? I would go with the Saturn Pro, like a 500 by 500 Saturn Pro. It's just, in my opinion, a better experience. Um, but there's like literally nothing wrong with a Zero either. x V3 Death Adder Contender? It sure looks like it. I'm uh, looking forward to like all of the new Pulsar mice. It's actually insane how many new mice they have coming out. Happy Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese New Year, man. Shout out to China. Um, everything we, everything on this desk would not be possible if not for China. China gets a lot of hate, but fucking ha happy Chinese New Year. That's from the bottom of my heart. Everybody, let's get a happy Chinese New Year in the chat. Shout out to China. You know it, man. Have you tried the Soku X1? I think I got offered, like, Max Gaming said they were gonna send me a unit, and it just, like, didn't happen, and I'm not really mad about that, you know? Um, China number one mouse. That, you know it, man. Have you heard of the Hottie X or not? Yeah, and I believe I have a unit on the way. Um, G Wolves literally does not tell me anything like in terms of tracking numbers. So when that shows up, I will be making content on it. Um, waiting for Saturn Pro mid. How do you feel about mid pads? For cloth pads, I just prefer them having a bit of squishiness. Um, but if you have tried that and you don't like it, then I feel like mid is a good option. But for like harder textured pads, I think mid is sick. Is it safe to buy from China? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Um, literally, what does that question mean? Um, when Vaxi review? Pff, relatively soon. Uh, I would say, like, next week. Not, like, within the next few days, though. Have you heard about... Um, no, I haven't. My haul. Uh, somebody give Bordzi a red envelope for Chinese New Year with cash? My Chinese landlord. I kind of expected that. Um, but I guess it's not gonna happen, so... That's unfortunate. Do you re recommend X-Ray Pad Aqua Control Plus? It's a good budget pad. Um, I recommend the Aqua Control too, but it's like the differences are very slight. Um, I'm Chinese, man. Thanks. Let's go. Are you watching me out of China? How many people in here are located in China, if any? It's like, it's not a very friendly Chinese time. I feel like they're, I don't know. I feel like the country shut down, but maybe people are in the stream. Is the Hayate Otsu Soft worth buying? I think it's a very solid premium hybrid pad. Um, if you think you'll like it, yeah, I would say so. Always, no matter what, I'm going to recommend artists and mouse pads. China don't have YouTube, but I'm sure there's a way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, China here, let's go. Like, there's no way there's no... Like, because I know there are Chinese people who, like, comment on my videos. So, I don't know. Stream on Billy Billy? Yeah, Billy Billy dual streams co incoming soon for my Chinese audience. <laughs> Any update on your X2 drop? Yeah, mid-February. Got pushed to after Chinese New Year. Just some uh, production tings, but it is still coming. Holy shit, chat is moving fast. Oh my god, man. VPN is your friend? Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, how are you doing today? I'm awesome, Nighty. Yo, we got the hundred. Uh, I'm not sure what that money is. I'm going to guess Filipino or, I don't know, something East Asian, but if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry, but thank you for a hundred of them. Um, I just got a HyperX Pulsar Wireless for $42. Do you think it's a good deal and a good mouse? Um, I mean, I think it's a solid mouse for the price. They are making an updated version with the 3395 um, that might be a bit better, but like for $42, it's an upgrade from the G305. Thank you for a hundred of your currency, man. Best skates for the Heian? Um, I would go with like just Tiger Ice BTL skates. Thoughts on the Super Glide Pad? If you guys did not hear, Pulsar's making a glass mouse pad called the Super Glide Pad. Um, that seems pretty sick. Um, they're going to send me a review unit, obviously. So review whenever that's available. Just post on Billy Billy TV. I need like a manager to do that for me. 
Do you think Lamzu Atlantis is a top three best mouses in 2023 so far? I mean, it didn't release in 2023. If you mean like it's the top three mouse on the market right now, like for claw grip, it might be. Um, but the XM2 WE might have killed it, so who knows? But the mini version coming soon, very sick. What's the mouse you're holding? It is the Vaxi XE Wireless, Vaxi's first um, wireless mouse. I got it yesterday, and it's like the primary mouse I'm testing at the moment. Uh, I do have some Chinese mice that just aren't as popular nor as good, in my opinion. Um, so I kind of like just put those on the side. I'm testing a Vaxi one. And I should be getting the Lamzu Mini soon, XM2 WE, and the HTX, and a surprise mouse that I'm sure everybody can guess. Like, what would the surprise mouse um, that I can't talk about, like, what would that be? You know what I'm saying? That's pretty soon, though. Uh, what's... I don't even know why I read a question like that. Yo, GGN1 with the 14 Canadian dollars. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Greatly appreciate the Canadian money. Um, yeah, lots of people are guessing. How's the Vaxi so far? It's great. Honestly, like 76 gram weight, it's not like it's not heavy by any like means. And it feels quality. Clicks are good. Wireless feels really nice. Um, this is the dongle, nice thick dongle. It just feels like a solid mouse. And at $120, I think it's just better than the Vaxi mice at one, or the Zowie mice at 150. Um, X2 Zebra, when's it coming? It is coming mid-February. It got pushed back to after Chinese New Year, which is unfortunate, but look at that, man. The Borzy seal of approval. It's worth, worth waiting forever. Is the Sora good for now? I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I would wait. Um, I'm to, if you're considering the Lamzu Atlantis Mini, since that's like kind of released, I would wait for a comparison of those. But yeah, nothing really wrong with the Sora. It's just not like not a good shape for claw grip for me since it's uh, so small. Uh, I tried all mice for claw. No one fits me. I'm 21 by 11 aggressive claw. Have you tried like uh, Death Adder V3? I've heard Sora has pulling rate issues. I mean, not in my testing. I just ran multiple polling rate testers and did not notice like any any inconsistency but i did that see that was brought up in a review do you think final mouse is stagnating with their mice no i know they have something um pretty crazy planned but i it might not even be until 2024 um i honestly don't know their timeline but the keyboard i think that's still like a month or two out um chat alt delete send me the zebra i got you man they're sending me a good amount to uh just like give away and distribute like if i want to send review units out so um i got you when i get that i will hit you up any other reviewers um yeah how's your day going it's awesome man i woke up um got a good start to my day now i'm streaming which is always the most epic thing ever and then i'm gonna watch some nfl football to end my day and that is like that's the ideal american day do you have a red GPX? No, I sent it to Australia. Um, I gave it away after I reviewed it. Guy was in Australia. I literally don't even know if he got the package. What is up, Bilbies? Have you tried the Infinity Mice Sapphire Dots? I did in like an early stage. I think they sent me the updated ones, but I just never got around to trying them. Kind of bored with mouse skates, but I want to do like a Sapphire Skate Roundup now that Lamzu has released some as well. Extra Fight M8 good? Not for me, honestly. Um, if you have large hands, I would not recommend it. You gonna review Last Legend and the Centerpiece? Yes. Um, we'll both have adjustable actuation and 8K Hertz. I think the Founders Edition won't. Set up Sunday tomorrow? Nah, I'm actually going to like this fine art show in the city. So I would do Set Up Sunday, but that'll probably be next week. And once the NFL season's fully over, Set Up Sunday is gonna be back in a back in swing. Do you like the XE shape more than the GPX? I don't know. Um I like the wireless mouse like variant more than I like the wired one and it's like interesting. So I'm like comparing it to a GPX a lot. Um Where's the boardsy shape? I mean that is something that may or may not be coming down the line. Why are we not giving boardsy money for Chinese New Year exactly? Um, just kidding, just kidding. Feel free to donate to your local Chinese person instead. Hi, hope all is well. All is well, man. Hope the same for you, Vova. I, I just saw some comments saying 
going by saying that I'm rich. Um, I'm getting comped tickets for those uh, for the fine art show. It's very awesome though. Uh, do you like feet? Not not necessarily, not like uh, especially so. Where's the titty mouse? I don't know if I'm gonna risk showing that on stream. Uh, feel free to look at my Twitter though if you want to see the titty mouse, which is just an unreal thing. I've been begging for a mouse in your DMs. I've seen that man. I just haven't opened the DM and. It's kind of, it's crazy at this point. It really is. I wonder how long you're going to keep it up. Um, yo, Dono, with the one great British pound. I appreciate that, man. And all of the Chinese um, people do as well. Did you get your HTX? No, not yet. Best palm grip mouse? I would say the Death Adder V3 Pro. Viper Viddy Wireless, please give me a sign. Oh, jeez, dude. I don't know, dude. Know nothing about it. Um, why is Owl OGM Pro first impressions? Uh, the coating is really weird. Like, I thought it was good at first, but, like, if you have, like, any moisture, like, any type of sweat, it's, like, really bad. Click quality isn't anything great. The shape is nice. It's kind of, like, reminds me of the EC3, but um, 70 grams, it just wasn't, like, it's not really a special mouse. Yo, chat alt delete with the 50 United State dollar super chat and that incredible emote. Wow, thank you so much, man. Um, <laughs> appreciate that. That is a uh, that's an insane sticker, man. Hope you're doing well. I saw. I actually watched your uh, Atlantis mini review yesterday. It was so short. Like that's the fucking key. Brief, concise, sick video. Um, yo, Techni, what is up, man? Uh, gotta say, I love seeing you saying an Ergo Mouse is your main. Um, it's part of be becoming a grown man. Next year's gonna start losing your hair. Don't even joke about that, dude. Um, but yeah, no, I've definitely started to take a liking to mice that are not small and only made for fingertip, like you predicted all those years ago. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've been good, Techni. Is there a difference in coding between Black Vaxi and the orange one you got? I don't know. Um, just going off of memory, I'm not sure, but I'll test the orange one before posting my review, so just watch to uh, be sure then. What skates are you using on the Death Adder V3 Pro? Still the stock skates, because um, I plan to do a video about, like, are aftermarket skates even worth it, and go over, like, that I've been using the stock skates forever, and they basically seem fine, but I don't know when that's going to be. Um, ultimate mouse and mouse pad combo for Valorant. Um, I don't know, like a Saturn Pro and a Death Adder V3 Pro will get you pretty far. That's like my recommendation, but that's obviously going off of my preferences. Yo, um, Vic Cray with the two great British pounds, V2 Pro or G Pro X? Um, I made a video on exactly that probably like four or five months ago at this point. So I'd, if, I'd recommend watching that for like 10 minutes of a response. But personally, I prefer GPX's shape and just like the in-hand quality feel, but I feel like the Viper VG Pro, if you prefer a lower profile mouse, it's like definitely better. Sora stock skates are so bad. Um, yeah, I don't remember my experience with them. MKT with the two United States dollars, Viper V2 versus XE Wireless, also best flat side mouse. Um, flat side mouse, I would say, is the Pulsar X2, um, kind of without a doubt, or the Mini. But yeah, Viper V2 versus XE Wireless, I'm not really sure yet. If you want a light mouse, probably a Viper V2 Pro, though. Um, and yeah, I'm like, I'm sorry that I cannot keep up with chat, but just the amount of questions is insane. I'm What's the viewer count? 471! Holy shit, maybe that's why. I had no idea. Uh, wow, appreciate all of the support on this Saturday afternoon stream. CH1 with the 37. Is that the Filipino peso? Um, I appreciate that. <laughs> if it is, if it's not, regardless. Have you tried the XM2W or the XM2WE? Not yet, but I'm going to very soon. I believe the XM2WE is going to be on the way, and the XM2W, it's just like still delayed. They did a good job at like getting people not really care as much about that by releasing a banger um, budget version though. Gotta say. What are you most excited about from the new Pulsar lineup? It has to be the like the eSport edition mice, like 4K Hertz wireless, um, OLED screen on the bottom. I forget if there are other improvements, but their uh, narrower mouse with the higher hump in the back seems sick as well, like the ZA clone style shape. 
um, screw mouse talk. Tell me about this fine art shindig you're going to. It's basically called the Winter Show. It's this. Uh, it's literally just like this fine art show in the in Manhattan. And I went last year. It's just like a family friend who gives us comp tickets, and you know, it's just like a it's a pretty sick event to go to. Just to get to talk to like these random like rich people who come out from like Britain and show off their decorative arts collection. Uh, do you think it is better to for to wait for the XFTW over the WE? I honestly don't think it is, considering it's like eighty dollars and you're you can just like get it. I don't know. Uh, but if you already have a pre-order on the XM2W, it's a very sticky, very sticky situation. We need RJN to update his comprehensive mice list. Dude, I it's, an, it's insane that RJN is, like, j he just fled the scene. I don't even know what to say. It's like, I wish RJN was here, but it does not seem like he's with us. Um, Lambzu Atlantis Mini or Pulsar X2 Mini? I gotta test the Lambzu Atlantis Mini first. It seems... Uh, like, it seems like it's been getting pretty good reviews so far, but my unit's still on the way. Do you have the mini yet? Nah. It's coming soon, though. I have a tracking number. Um, family friend sounding stacked as fuck. That is a, it is a very stacked family friend. Any updates on the board ZX2? Uh, after Chinese New Year, so mid-February is when they're expected to have, like, actual stock. I'm pretty sure. Arjan is dead? Don't even say that, dude. That would be... Far too tragic. XM2 Wii over the lamp suit? I don't know, as I don't have the mouse. <laughs> have you seen Switch and Click's mouse pad? No, I did not. Um, I mean, isn't that Switch and Click keyboard channel, right? Um, is it just like a desk mat, or is it something really unique? RJ made a mouse and mouse pad and disappeared. I mean, I respect that. Maybe he's just working on uh, other projects. I know he's rewriting his novel, though, which I, I don't get that, but God bless. That's what I say. Um, refragged with the two United States dollars, um, on your Vax EXE wireless, any click wobble slash grind. Um, as you can see, there is a bit of wobble, but I wouldn't see, would not say there's any, um, actual grinding sensation, especially not anything that's a problem in game. The clicks are, like, very light, though. Um, it's, like, interesting. They don't feel, like, very deep. Are you actually good at games? Yeah, you can watch some of my full reviews, um, especially from like last year this time. Uh, you can see my Fortnite gameplay, lots of like Aim Trainer gameplay. I just don't like, I just don't make a focal point of my reviews. And I always feel like maybe I should. Because I do get comments like, do you, do you even use the mice in games? I'm like, that just seems like an insane thing to comment. But um, maybe, maybe people like really don't know. Hey, are you genuinely happy in life? Just wondering. I would say so, man. Um, do you have an XM2 Wii? Will you review it? I will review it. I don't have it yet, though. Does the Vaxi feel that heavy? It honestly doesn't. Um, I have the HTS Plus, and it's almost 25G, so I'm considering buying, but not sure if it's too heavy. Well, if you look for lightness in a mouse, um, it's not really going to be there, but you, it's like definitely something you can adjust to. It's like balanced well. Before I weighed it, I thought it was like low 70s, but it came in at like 76, so. Yeah, Boardsy Gaming Channel, that was actually one of my goals, like, for the year to, like, start some type of gaming channel. Um, but, like, PC games are kind of shit at the moment, so I don't even know what I would do. Um, yeah, like, what games is everybody playing? Quake gameplay is the only one that counts? I was so low that I was thinking, like, maybe I just boot up Quake, see what happens. Like, because games just are not, are not there. Do you think you could ever have a chance as a professional FPS player? Um, probably not in any like main title, especially not at this point. If I was on a mouse and keyboard, mouse and keyboard for Fortnite when it launched, I definitely would have made money in like early comp Fortnite. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to look for a phrase, but that's that is what I'm saying. Super people, hell no. Um, I appreciate the one super people player though. Um, repping his game nothing lol ow2 is the only game right now but meta stale yeah i mean i played it for a few weeks when it dropped and i was like this game is really boring i just hate how the rank system works it's like you play for nothing and then you still might be the same rank and it's like ah 
Is the board seat mouse going to be available on Max Gaming? Yes, it is. It, like, they are... I think they're going to have, like, a good amount of the units. Don't play Overwatch 2, I beg you. I don't plan to. Warzone because I hate myself. The new one or the old one? Because the new one seems like a giga flop. Can you explain the controversy between you and RJ? And there really is none anymore. I'm, like, just his biggest fan, unironically. I don't know if he believes that. Um, but yeah, I was trolling him for a few years just cause he was like the goat and it's like, you know, you pester the goat, the fly pesters the goat. And that was just what happened. And he blocked me for a while. Then he unblocked me, came to his senses. That's that. Any issues on the X2 zebra? Um, yeah, some of like the early units, like we're still using the old mold that had squeaking. So they had to like totally scrap that. Um, and that's why like production was delayed until after Chinese New Year. So they're going to address that click feeling is going to be sensational with the Huano blue shell pink dots. Yo, Hector with the R5 dollars. What's that? Is that a, I don't know what an R5 dollars is, but I appreciate that about the Dharma shark, Dharma shark N3. And what do you think about this mouse? Is it a great buy? It's really like, it just doesn't feel that high quality in my opinion, especially like the side ones. God, my camera is really giving me trouble today. Like you see how much it goes into the mouse. Uh, it feels really low quality. The clicks, like I don't know if they're Kill 8.0s or Omron 20Ms, so, like they're really light and just like very decent. Stock skates are really shit. The weight and the shape is like decent, but I just did not find it to be a great mouse. Appreciate the R5 dollars though. Um, does the G-Wolves Ace have a coating? The white one? I don't believe so. It's very plasticky feeling. How much will a board to unit cost? The standard $95 price. Um, your stream audio is quiet as hell. You're first person to complain about that. Is that still the case? Um, because, I mean, my mic's right next to my face. It looks like it's pretty high in OBS. It's like maxing out. Want to start doing mouse reviews? Any tips? Literally, if you want to, like just be consistent like you have to review new mice that are coming out review whatever you have and just be a consistent presence that's the only way to really um grow i feel like a lot of people just like are too on and off but yeah in terms of like actually recording a video though i feel like that's really easy just like talk about the mouse you can watch some of my early videos they weren't exactly the most uh clever um Actually, no, that's not the word. They just weren't, like, intelligible mouse reviews, but it was still, like, fine. So I'll just say, uh, actually making videos consistently is the best way to go about it. Stream audio is perfect? Okay. Um, should I get a Heian or a Saturn Pro? I mean, that's, like, a pretty big difference. Um, <laughs> it depends on what you look for in a pad. If you just want to try, like, a fast pad, just go with the Heian. Uh, I feel like everybody should try a Heian at least once. And... If you're just looking for a high quality cloth head though, go with the Saturn Pro. Best budget mouse pad? Define budget. How about Wise Owl? Is it good? Um, it's just wait for my review on it. I'm like still undecided on the Wise Owl. It's like, it has some quality issues, but like this, and the weight isn't great, but like the shape is interesting. The feel of the mouse is all right. Uh, Hanad with the 14 sec. What is that? Finnish currency, I believe. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, man. And Breadboy with the 5 euros. Atlantis Lamzu Mini review when? Uh, whenever it arrives. And honestly, since I've been getting asked so much about it, I am going to check the tracking right now. See where it's at. Um, doing this for you guys. That is, again, you the exact date of when I'm going to receive it. From there, going to estimate. Oh, there's an exception. Oh, no, that's terrible. Um, estimated delivery January 2020, uh, the 23rd. Okay, awesome. How firm is the Pulsar pad? I'll do a lighter test. It's like not, it's, I think it's 3.5 millimeters. So it's like kind of the same firmness as the saturn pro i would say if not maybe a little bit firmer god so so many questions um terabyte with the two canadian currency play crunker for the last 30 minutes of the stream i tried crunker the other day and it was so like demoralizing so probably not i'm gonna appreciate the two canadian monies nonetheless 
441 people watching is crazy. It really is because like when I was doing YouTube streams like before the new year, it was like two, 300, but I mean, it has just been a lot of people, a lot of questions, but that is a uh, lovely. The chat spam is not lovely though. Um, Vaxio, just appreciate if you wouldn't spam the chat, you know, like have some decency. Um, okay. Now it's like everybody's spamming the chat. That's miserable, but you know, that's life. Do you still have Twitch partner? Yeah, they don't really take that away. Like you have to like try to get that taken away. Why do you hate the G Pro Wireless so much over a GPX? It's just not as good and it's heavier. Like unless you're on a strict budget, there's literally no reason to buy it at this point. It would, um, can you show how you grip the Death Adder V3 Pro? Sure, man. You look like prod. Um, I don't know about that, but yeah, this is basically my grip when I claw it. And then sometimes, like, honestly, I'll, like, I don't know if it's fingertip. It's a very, like, light palm grip. It's just, like, you know. My bad. I'll stop. Appreciate that, Vaxi. Because even if it is being spammed, I'm not going to address it. Because then that encourages more spamming. Uh, turn on five seconds slow mode. Some people have negative brain cells. Nah, that's too much work. <laughs> it is what it is. You look like bad seed tech. Um, I don't know about that. Met Bad Seed IRL. Would not say I look like him. He is a great guy, though. What's your thoughts on the Dharma Shark N3? Not a huge fan of it. Um, definitely has some quality issues. Would not say it's quite worth the uh, price. But it is an interesting shape, and the weight does not seem bad. Um, Play M with the 20 knock. Um, what currency is that, man? I need to get sharper with these currencies. I need to get into Forex trading. Any thoughts on the Ponage Ambi? Um, was that the one that had the adjustable sensor that I reviewed like last year? It not, not too great. Honestly, if I'm thinking of a different mouse though, let me know. You look like simple a again. I just don't really see that. Have you had any double clicking on your super lights? No, none at all. Is there double click issues on the zebra edition? No. Um, Juano switches are like some of the switches are notorious for not double clicking like think about when's the last time you've heard about a zowie mouse double clicking same switches or like a lambzo atlantis just any of the new mice that have juanos saturn pro versus vetus pro i go with saturn pro um i'd recommend watching my review um because i just cover and compare both of them you look like kanye west see i get that that's the one that i see yo three oopa with the one euro appreciate that man any issues you had with the Fantec Aria? Not really, aside from just the uh, clicks not being too high quality and not liking the shape. And by not liking the shape, I mean I just don't like enjoy egg shapes enough to like main it. Forty looks like insert white gamer here. That's yeah, it's true. That's what the uh, comparisons are feeling like. Do you have the smooth criminal head? Any opinion? Um, I don't think I do. Because Lethal Gaming Gear kind of just, um, to no complaint of mine, kind of like stopped sending me all of their new mouse pads that they were getting for a while. So I just think that was one of them that I did not get. You should show more gameplay and videos? I agree. Um, I just feel like, I don't know if people would prefer Aim Trainer gameplay to like nothing. You look like Mariah Carey. Appreciate that. Why can't I donate a few cents? Only a dollar. Uh, take that up with YouTube. I th I thought it was like a $2 minimum, but I, I don't think it is. I think it's a dollar. Maybe just convert it to a different currency so you can donate less. I'm going to head out. Looking forward to a zebra later. Yo, peace out, man. I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate the fitty bones. Have a good one, Chad. You remind me of Lil Nas X. Not, I'm not... not not a fan of that comparison. Yes, please, Kovacs content. What about AimLab, if you know what I'm saying? Um, is the Pulsar pad good? Yeah, I would say I prefer their cloth pad to the hybrid one, though. The hybrid one, it's, like, really nice quality, but I just don't know if I prefer the actual surface to, like, some of the other hybrid surfaces. Uh, what made you choose that name, little man? I was named Got Your Board because I played 2K and I was a center. So, like, you know, rebounding, board. And then I just put the ZY at the end because of Cloaksy. And it really stuck. And I don't regret it at all. That was a great decision my 16-year-old self made. 
12 hour grid shot subathon that's what i'm talking about that's some content that 2023 may have in store um did you fully make the switch to aim live not yet honestly but i'm planning to but <laughs> it's hard man it is hard because like kovacs literally since i got a pc like i had kovacs i had like thousands of hours afk on kovacs rebound machine you get it man no aim trainers please what do you mean no aim trainer gameplay not a fan of it how many hours do you have on kovacs it might literally be like 2500 um because when optimum tech made his video i was like i have like 10 times more than this just because i um not being a not understanding that leaving your pc on constantly with kovacs in the background isn't an awesome idea did that for like a few years when i was in uh, high school and early in college is AimLab getting better than Kovacs now? I am deep into the comparison. I'm trying to find out, um, like, what makes Kovacs so much more convenient. Sapphire Skate's worth? Generally not, but I got to check out some of the newer options. And I always thought the Zai was from your idol RJN. It should have. Um, that could have been. I could have said it was that, but honestly, it wasn't. Why the zebra pattern on the board? See, Mouse, if you've been watching... For a few years, I'm sure some people in chat will remember Zebra Gang. Uh, basically, when Wired Mice, back in the day when Wired Mice were still a thing, uh, there were Zebra Paracords. And for some reason, if you watch my channel, you just got Zebra Paracords. And Lethal Gaming Gear, W Paracords, God rest his soul. Rip W Paracords, by the way. Um, you would just get a Zebra Paracord, and that's how it was. So now we're bringing that back with the Zebra Mouse zebra mouse pad in the future feel like i can leak that and uh yeah just zebra it's all it's all to bring back help the near threatened status that zebras are in they're not endangered but they are nearly threatened and i'm gonna do everything in my power to keep it that way what do you think about the wise owl mouse so far it's just, it's like an interesting shape um it's like a Kind of like an alternative to the EC, and I, I like the small ergo feeling, but I'm not a huge fan of the weight. I do have some, like, click quality issues, and the coating's, like, it's really bad now. When I got the mouse, I thought it was nice, but, like, now my hands are kind of sweaty. Like, I have this sleeve. It's, like, super bad. Um, free aim trainer greater than paid aim trainer. I That is one way to look at it, but, like, I don't know. I just got Kovacs once when I was 16, and now it's, like, 2,500 hours on it. Somebody should uh, do the math on that. Um, will you buy the Final Mouse keyboard? I'm sure that they're going to send me it, given that they flew me out to their reveal of it, which was still insane. <laughs> um, still have my Zebra Paracord to go with my Hottie S wire that I got because of your vids. That's some true OG shit. Appreciate the long-time support, Sarah. Are you interested in the Thorn? Of course. I mean, basically anything Lamzu puts out at this point is going to be pretty innovative and interesting. Just uploaded my Siege video using the Lambs of Atlantis. Astonishing. Yeah, just like playing Siege in general. Astonishing. Bro's starting to look like C description. That is insane. Take it back. Um, XM2 Wii Review. Coming soon. Coming soon. Um, ideally, I'll get the unit sometime next week. Kovac's good because Aimer 7 Guide. I can't lie. I was playing the Aimer 7 Guide. Um, that was uh, a lot of the early mouse testing was done. In the Aimer 7 recommended scenarios. Pull the trigger on Sora or, or Atlantis Mini? I'd say wait for comparisons um, if you're stuck between the two. Do you see C Description's girlfriend? That is an insane arc. Like, just looking at his channel, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, he's popular now in a different space. I'm, he's interesting. He is an interesting soul. Please review Fantech Aria XD7. Bro, I did, like five months ago at this point um look on my channel is what i would recommend you play siege no i think i got it once when it was like on an eight dollar weekend i was like wow this might be the most boring game ever um and that was before i played valorant so i don't know how i drank it now but yeah not a huge fan are you really related to technique no i'm not um i don't know how that did aimer 7 make you a god aimer low-key he gave me the tips like, I remember playing, does anybody remember Aimer 7 speed training, where you'd, like, lower your sense, raise your FOV, and then you'd go back to your normal sense, and you'd be, like, just cracked as hell? That was just, like, a peak aim training memory. Yo, what's up, Exo Ghost? How's it going? 
Can you get any faster than Wuzhang 2 with Super Glides? Um, honestly, I'm not sure. Especially if you like put some pledge on it, that would be a uh, stupidly fast. Thoughts on the X2H and X2H Mini? It seems cool. It seems like the first time a company is actually um like cloned a ZA style shape. And I don't know, just like more variants of the X2 shape. What could be what could be bad about that? Are you getting an Atlantis Mini to review? Yes, I'm supposed to get it on the 23rd, um, just a few minutes ago. I checked the tracking because of all the requests. Um, why do you not like egg-shaped mice? It's just a preference. Um, my first mouse ever was the G Pro, like, Hero Wired. So I liked that for a while, but just like the Orochi, the Aria, I just don't feel like they give you enough stability, especially with larger hands. It's not the shape for me. Just check out what mice I can waste money on. Um, the real mice you can waste money on, at least in my opinion, are uh, coming soon. The XM2 WE HTX from G Wolves, which seems insane, like 36 grams, and the Lambs of Atlantis Mini. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those. Just got the Vaxi XE Wireless, which is pretty nice, especially if you're into like Zowie style mice. Um, and some Chinese mice, which honestly not too, uh, not too fond of. Zebra board Z mouse, of course. Oh, yeah, how could I forget? Yeah, in less than a month, ideally, you'll be able to buy the uh, board Z zebra mouse. HTX 4K 39 grams review. Um, yeah, whatever G Wolf sends me, I'll review. I'm just not sure where that is. Maybe I'll message him after a stream. Um, yo, Bread Boy, joining the amazing tier. I always forget that's a thing the memberships, the many, many benefits of being a member. Um, but yeah, I appreciate that, man. Appreciate the amazing tier subscription. Um, just in general, I appreciate all of the support so far this stream and just 430 viewers still. Nuts. And just all of the chat messages. Uh, GSRC Rouge worth getting for CSGO. I think the Pulse, it really depends on price. Like if it's a good price in your area, there's nothing wrong with it. But there are like higher quality pads. I would say the Pulsar pads are like a kind of good alternative to them. And just like way higher quality. Um, Zebra Boards Mouse only limited on sale. It's going to be 3,000 units. So it is limited. But, I mean, I just don't see that, like, selling out instantly. But I, I don't know, man. What has more spammable clicks, Zebra or Bruce Lee? I would say the Zebra edition because the opticals just do have a bit more, like, um, they just feel like they have more travel to them, while the Zebra ones are a bit more, like, just kind of zowie where they're, like, snappy and they rebound very fast. It's the best way to describe it. I think 4K slash 8K pulling rate's worth it now. I never tried it. Um, it's not like a deciding... Uh, 8K pulling rate wired, I would say that's just not something you really need. But 4K pulling rate on a wireless mouse, like if you like the mouse and you get that on top, I think it's like sick and worth trying out. Uh, but I just don't think it's really going to like change your game type shit. Thoughts on the new Super Glide Pad? It seems cool. They haven't revealed the price, and I'm hoping that they're able to keep the price like cheaper than Sky Pad should be the goal, right? But I, I just don't know what they're gonna do. They do have the smaller size, so that's what I think. But I I just have no idea about the surface, and it's really hard to tell with glass until you actually get it in hand. Are you gonna try the XM2 Wii soon? Yes. Um, it's pretty sure it's on the way. So ideally, I get it mid next week. What's good, Boards? You just got my fifth Viper Mini. That's the way to do mice. Like, you know, you can get seven Viper Minis, like, for the price of uh, fucking Death Adder V3 Pro and the 4K dongle. Just get an army of Viper Minis. Have you used the HTX Ace yet? No. Should be coming soon, though. Is the Asus mouse decent for small hands? No, I'd say it's, like, I'm um, pretty not ideal for small hands like if any like large hand palm grip is kind of the market it appeals to like if you want a mouse for either palm or claw that feels bigger than the gpx is the zebra mouse going to be an lgg yeah i think they're going to allocate some units to lgg but it's also going to be on pulsar's site um so there's not going to be any problems buying in the u.s thoughts on the bruce lee mouse pad um it's nice but i don't know if they're like if this edition is for sale anymore if it's just the standard black one they sent me both so i'll test if there are any differences um but yeah it's like a nice pad it has like a kind of like felty texture similar to the gpz1 the rocket jump ninja pad but it also reminds me of like a saturn like slash saturn pro because it's three millimeters with a uh, xsoft base and 
yeah, I'd say it's like a really high quality pad. Uh, best fingertip grip mouse that you can actually buy, in my opinion, it's the X2 Mini, but Starlight is definitely up there. Starlight small. Besides that, it's just like, I don't know, new G Wolves HTX Ace might be solid. Uh, do you think it's worth getting the wireless XE over the wired one? I'm used to wired mice and a bungee, but I might try. I would say so. I'd say that is like a very safe transition. I definitely prefer it a lot over the standard wired version, even with a bungee. X2 Red or Bruce Lee edition? Well, you can't really get a Bruce Lee one anymore as far as I'm concerned, but I would say that um, just for the better coding and the optical switches. Is there a Zebra Mini? Yeah, so it's going to be 1500 of the Mini, 1500 of the Medium. When are you doing the Lamzu Mini review? I get it on the 23rd, so I can basically guarantee a review before the end of the month. Uh, but I might even like make an impressions video when I get it, just because it's so highly requested. Jules HTS Plus Classic is nice for fingertip. It's nice, yeah, I just don't like... I prefer the flatness of the sides on the uh, X2 Mini. What's that mouse he's holding? It is the Vaxi XE Wireless. Um, first Vaxi Wireless mouse. Just really solid all around. I avoided um, some of the major injuries like COVID. <laughs> and stuff. somehow I just started playing the uh, Pat McAfee show. That is uh, interesting. Do you think I should upgrade my perfs if I already have a GPX and Apex Pro? Um, if you don't have a good mouse pad, I would say that's something. But if you're fine with the GPX, um, really no reason to upgrade it. And the Apex Pro is still god tier in my opinion. Uh... I'm going to dip yo. Peace out, Terabyte. Thank you for stopping by and I'm moderating. Borzy doing a meetup again this year? Yeah, I wanted to do it. Like, I plan to do it somewhat early, like either March or April. But I'm thinking just, like, pushing it back to the summer. Like, everybody's out of school. Like, people can make it sometime in July again. I didn't want to, like, delay it. But I just feel like waiting, doing it right, it's probably worth it. But, yeah. Let's go Giants. I'm a Jets fan. I'm very impartial to what happened. I kind of want to see... The 49ers make the Super Bowl. Like, Brock Purdy's story is just too crazy. Yo, Cats with the $1. Appreciate that, man. Great stream. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, it's really it's really active, and that's all I can ask for. Like, just constant questions. Too many more questions than I could possibly read. That is the dream. Do the meetup in Thailand. <laughs> yeah. Gonna go to Thailand without a passport. Just wind up there, stay there forever. Uh, you guys tweet saying you saw a shocking mouse, and my guess is, is it's the Viper Mini Wireless. No idea, man. No idea. Um, he and worth it since I'm using the Odin Infinity. Yeah, I feel like it's an upgrade that makes a lot of sense, especially if you've never tried artists and experienced some quality. Brunson's the savior NYC needed. True. I can't remember last time the Knicks had a point guard that instilled half as much confidence as Brunson. Hey, I love the Jets, too. Yeah, I've just, since my dad's like an Eagles fan, I've just never been... Never been allowed to be a Giants fan. Um, can you sir not God. Some questions are not worth reading. Uh is the G six forty a good choice for a mouse pad? In my opinion, there are lots of better options in terms of cloth mouse pads. Like a, just a standard Saturn even for $30, I would say is going to be better than that cheap disposable pad. Does your Death Hour V3 creak? Yeah, low key, um, it does creak. It's not like extra 5 MZ1 levels, but like if I give it a squeeze, it definitely creaks. It's nothing that like, I know this is why I'm applying pressure in game. Definitely does not have the shell integrity that is ideal. Uh, what do you think about the PureTrack MF2? They said they said they sent it to me, but like it was definitely to the wrong address, so I just never really followed up from there. I've kind of lost the passion for mouse pads unless they're like insanely high quality, um, like the Pulsar pads and shit. But yeah, from the reviews I watched, it just didn't seem um, crazy enough to ask for another unit. Best mouse pad for Fortnite went to BoardsyCon, by the way. Um, I would say like. The Heian and the GPX is what I always felt I played best on. And I feel like that's a really common combo for Fortnite. But, I mean, Saturn Pro, nothing wrong with that if you want a cloth pad. Have you tried the Doxa Air Mouse from Rexus? Now, I have, like, no idea what that is. What country is that from? 
Um, so your question on how DS Plus has like a rough gr glide, is that due to the honeycomb bottom? Um, no, it's probably something on the skates, I would imagine, unless there's like a, unless the base is like warped and you're actually like scraping plastic on the pad. Saturn is up to $60, the regular version? No, no, it's not. <laughs> let me, um, let me check that. There's no way they doubled the price of the Saturn. Have to be like in a different country. Yeah, it's uh, $30. Oh, they just only have... Oh, no, no. They have... They have standard units in stock. Is the 3370 really that much worse than the 3395? No, definitely not. And you can, like... A well-implemented 3370 versus, like, an average 3395, I don't think many people would be able to notice a difference in a blind test. Um, here's a link to the Saturn, by the way, just for whoever is asking and was possibly misguided. Um, is it worth getting a Saturn Pro and I already have the Zero X Soft? I mean, honestly, like if you don't have any issues with it, you're just enjoying the Zero X Soft. No, probably not worth it. Red X2 Red Coming, same as Bruce Lee? No, which I find um, weird. Like, I don't even know how that works, but they decided to apply coatings on like the boards edition i presume like all the new batches going forward and the bruce lee edition are you getting the lambsu energon mouse pad yes the name is uh <laughs> that's funny uh but i'm not sure they sent me the mini and maybe it's coming along with that but if not i'll just ask for it uh, the next time they send me something because i want to try their skates as well Thoughts on the Viper 8K Hertz. Is it worth it? Honestly, no, I don't like the standard wired 8K Hertz. It feels like a, just a bit outdated feature-wise, aside from the tech, you know? I think I will prefer the Zowie C-Line than their wireless. Why is that? Just because of price? Um, any news on the Razer Viper Mini? I have no idea, man. Where did you put the Logitech? What do you mean by that? The GPX? is a it's cool in here that mouse pad looks insane yeah this is the bruce lee edition of the es2 um review of the es2 and the es1 coming soon like i don't know what my next upload is going to be it's probably going to be like tomorrow though um i'll compare it to the saturn pro in depth in the full review ran but i would say like in terms of the like base and the quality in general it's like there's similar levels of quality. The actual texture of the surface is a bit different, um, but in terms of like glide, I would say the Pulsar pad is more controlled, but like they're similar. What GPU do you have? A uh, 3080, wait, what the fuck do I have? I think a 3080 Ti. <laughs> that is uh, funny that I don't really know. Any of y'all end up getting the Atlantis Mini? Um, I believe a lot of people in the chat have Atlantis minis on the way. How's the weight of the XE? It's 76 grams on the scale, but I thought it was like a few grams lighter just before I before I weighed it because it just, I don't know, balancing feels solid. It's like a somewhat larger mouse, so I don't know. It's not like not bad. Um, you want some info on the final mouse that I'm not allowed to publicly reveal? Yeah, sure. I mean, I think I already have a pretty good idea of the mouse, but I'm not going to bother leaking anything. I have the Atlantis Mini, love it. Did you get a review unit or did you order one? Because I see like some people got their review units and like mine's still on the way. China, China needs to hurry it up. What is that zebra stripe mouse? It is the Pulsar X2 Boardsy Edition. It is set to launch next month. It was originally December, but you know, things get pushed back. Um, so after Chinese New Year, it's going to be 3,000 units available. Um, it has Wano blue shell pink dot switches. It has the updated coating that's on the Bruce Lee edition. And it is, it's incredibly awesome. That is the only way to describe it. And shocking. Minimum subscribers for review unit Lamzu. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like you don't need that many subscribers. Probably just a uh, consistent presence. Like if you're... Re like companies don't, especially like smaller companies, they don't care about like your total subscribers, like how many views the video is going to get. Like as long as you're consistently posting videos, in my opinion. 
What's the mouse closest to the camera? This one, this is the Wise Owl OGM Pro. It is like a Chinese ergo mouse, 70 grams, um, 33.95. Like it's, it's solid, but it's just not great. That's the way I look at it. And review on it along with the Dharma Shark N3 will be coming probably next week. Um, what's your most disliked mouse on your table right now? Pro definitely this uh, Dharma Shark N3. It just does not feel great. It kind of just feels like a cheap toy. But besides from that, I like low-key, probably the other Chinese mouse. Um, Happy Chinese New Year, by the way. But besides from that, like I like all of the mice. Would you recommend the GPX over a Death Adder V3 for Fortnite Palm Griff? No, nah, if you don't have either, I'd recommend going with the Death Adder V3. What else has the best scroll wheel at the moment? I don't know. Scroll wheels are so like personal preference, because some, and it also depends like what you use it for in game. Because some people like need to find steps, but for me, I'm cool with like really everything with TTC Gold encoders just feels the same. How should I clean my artisan hand? Is it like significantly muddy? You should just like spray it with Lysol and just wipe it. How's the shape feel of what? The VaxiXC wireless? Um, mind if I ask your feelings on the Shroud Mouse G303 Shroud Edition? Um, just not like a huge fan of it. Uh, the shape was nothing crazy. Weight was nothing crazy. It was like nice quality, was built very well, but just was not a uh, not a mouse that I really considered maining. I gave mine away and didn't even bother buying another one, so kind of shows it. I'm getting the HTX 4K. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one as well. What is pink dots? So it's like the Switch has a blue housing and then a pink like dot where the contact is actually made. Is the X2 Bruce Lee heavier because of the new coating? Nah, I put it on my scale and it was like the same weight. Um, opinion on the ES1 and ES2. ES2 is a really nice control pad and the ES1 is like, I don't know, it's a hybrid pad where there's not a lot of, um, it's not, not very rough, not a lot of feedback on the skates. And it's also like not too fast. So it just feels like a very safe take on a hybrid pad. Not a, not a massive fan of that, but the ES2 seems really nice. Like that's gonna be one of my top control pad recommendations I'd imagine. I've been using a Death Adder Chroma for years. What mouse would you recommend? Um, honestly, just like could do a Death Adder V3 Pro if you're really looking to ball out with your mouse, but it is an updated shape. Um, but other than that, like, I don't know, maybe a GPX. What happened to the board Z pad? The board Z pad, unfortunately, um, fizzled out. But bigger and better things are coming. Board Z X2 coming soon, I hope. Um, yeah, after China, after like China's opened back up, um, production should be done. What's your favorite NDA mouse? Everybody probably has a pretty good idea of that. Uh, make a boardsy pad and keyboard, then make the boardsy bundle. True, lots of alliteration. Can you do a click sound test with the boardsy X2? Yeah, sure. I don't know if that uh, that sounded amazing, but yeah, then I'll do the normal X2. Should be able to hear like they're a lot like I don't even know the word they're a lot like less aggressive opticals in the X2 um, that's on the Bruce Lee edition and maybe they'll switch the normal kill 8.0s to that in future batches but I'm not sure um, is there a mouse better than the XM1 R in that price range I would recommend getting the XM2 wireless essential for $80 rather than the XM1 R uh, but if you're looking at a mouse of that style, I don't know, um, for that price. 
It's beautiful. Love Juanos. Good choice there. Yeah, I saw a lot of people, um, like just on Twitter and stuff, were requesting Juanos, and I had, like, literally Pulsar sent me like five units of the X2, um, just with like different mechanical switches in it, and I was just trying them, and I was like, Juanos Loki feel the best. Do you own a small snake? No, I do not. Where do you buy Logitech, Amazon, or official website? I generally use um, Amazon just because they have, like, deals and shit. But from if it's, a, like, a new product launch, I'll use Logitech if it's on there earlier. Are opticals superior to Kill 8.0s? I feel like um, like I would prefer a good optical implementation rather than Kill 8.0s. Kill's overrated. Well, it's like they had to exist, right? The thing with Kill is at first, like, Kill 8.0s were really good. Then everybody... Like, every single company wanted them, and the quality control just went to shit. Um, so, yeah, Kelly 8.0 has kind of died a sad death. But Juano, Juano's stepping up. And all of these uh, random companies producing optical switches. Like, the Kale 8.0's pre-2021 Kale 8.0 blow-up that you could actually get from, like, AliExpress were insane switches. That's just too niche for a lot of people who have only tried, like, a Pulsar mouse. Please review Prime Mini Wireless. I did, bro. I literally did, like, probably over a year ago at this point. That's always funny to me when I get, like, told to review a mouse. It's like, reviewed this a long time ago. Is the MM712 the king of wireless budget mice right now? Yeah, I don't know if you can get a better mouse for semi. Like, the Fantech Aria, but, um, I don't know. You should play some Aim Labs. Um... Probably not this stream, but AimLab streams potentially in the future. Did you get to choose the Zebra design? Yeah, of course. The, Z the Zebra design has a lot of history, um, but obviously I don't expect everybody to understand um, the reference that goes a few years back on my channel. But back when wired mice were a thing, everybody was buying paracords. There was just this black and white Zebra design. I should really have one handy for this explanation. But yeah, there's just a Zebra design, and if you bought one, you watched my channel, you were in Zebra Gang. So this is just a bringing that back, basically. And I think it is a very aesthetically pleasing mouse. I saw some people saying it looked ass, and that hurt my feelings deeply. They were like, this looks like a COD camo nobody would use. And I was like, that is a, it's a witty insult. Uh, but I honestly think it looks sick. Aim God's gameplay when? Real OGs remember the Aim Gods uh, Twitch stream spins. Those were insane. Uh, but yeah, they kind of just let that game die. Upgrade mouse pad or mouse skates? Um, I would say mouse pad first, especially if you don't have a great one. Did you give your Sora away? Nah, I didn't. Show the white mouse closest to the camera. Which one's closer? It looks like they're exactly as close. Uh, but you know what? I'll, I'll just do you a favor and show you both. This is the OGM Pro from Wise Owl. Um, it's an ergo shape, which I honestly did not know until I got it in hand. And then also the Dharma Shark N3, which is kind of just garbage. Nice face reveal. You look like a dad. Um, it's not a face reveal. Uh, I show my face in basically every video now. And I am 20, so it's interesting to hear that I look like a dad. Bruce Lee Mouse Head Review coming? Yeah, real soon. Show the dog? He's in another room having the time of his life. But he does come on my desk sometimes. What candle? No candle today. Um, I don't know why. The candles got pushed off the desk in favor of the mouse boxes. Is there a GPU 3080 Ti set up Sunday tomorrow? Nah, I'm going to an art show. Then I have to watch NFL football. But the week after that, set up Sunday 1,000%. One, 20 is when they start calling you old. Oh, shit. Going to review those two white Chinese mice or not? Yeah, of course. I'm at the point in my mouse reviewing career where if I get the mouse, I'm going to review it um, nearly 100% of the time. But not uh, I understand if there's not a lot of hype for those reviews. Like the Wise Owl shape, I changed the skates and it's actually really good. Um, the skates aren't even like a, it's a pretty dumb design, but I didn't find them to be too bad. Wait, is the design even going to show? Like, what the fuck is this? Like, just put the dongle here, maybe? 
Um, keep up the great work, man. You're way ahead of the game. I appreciate that, man. Greatly appreciate that compliment. What games are you playing these days? I gave Fortnite another chance after their recent update. But besides from that, it's really like aim trainers and just like whatever various game my friends are on. Um, since a lot of the people I know were like back from college, I was playing fucking Madden on my console like earlier this month. And I was just like, wow, that just shows the state of FPS. Do you have a channel where you post gaming vids? No, but... It was a goal to have one of those in 2023, so working on that. I just don't even know, like, what like what games to post gameplay of, but might as well just try something. Try gyro when? Dude, I'm a gyro expert, don't worry. And a kebab expert. Do you know a lightweight mouse with an EC2 shape? I mean, the closest you're going to get to like a lightweight wireless EC is the Death Adder V3 Pro. And it's not like identical, obviously, but that's what I'd recommend. Is the Bruce Lee a control pad? Yeah, it is, like as you can see. It's not like a slow, muddy pad, but it's definitely controlled. I would say maybe even slightly more controlled than like a Saturn Pro. Tried League of Legends? Hell no. I've made it this long without playing League of Legends. Not gonna, not gonna rescind now. What is that wireless black mouse called? It is the Vaxi XE. Um, they had a wired version out and then they made this wireless version and it's pretty dope, you know? Pretty dope. Not the lightest mouse out there, but it feels really well built. All of the buttons are solid. Review on that pretty soon. I got the new water in rotation. Any good wireless options for a ZA13? Literally no, like at the moment, but um, Pulsar is coming out with their X2H, which is the X2, but it's going to be more narrow and have a higher back hump. So that's going to resemble the ZA13 more. I don't know if they're going to make the sides curve in a bit more. So it like actually has like the same side profile as well, but uh, that should be a good ZA alternative, but I have no clue what anybody else is working on. You inspired me to drink water. Thank you, Vorzi. I I'm very happy to do that. Everybody better stay hydrated. Um, but yeah, these water bottles, shit's expensive. It costs more than my mouse addiction. Should really find a. I should get a filter. That's a good idea. Where to upgrade after Black Aqua Control Plus? Similar but better, more durable. Ah, uh, I would go with a Hien. Like if you just want to make the most direct upgrade but it is a more premium price point so i don't know if you're down for that one choice pulsar tattoo or pull and spring tattoo i mean that's no offense to pulsar but that is pull and spring no question i would get a pull and spring tattoo on my forehead literally if they told me they would give me one free water bottle i would get a tattoo on my forehead um your favorite mouse pad with the x2 mini um it really depends the game i'm playing because some games if i use like a fast pad it feels like slightly too fast but um, I would say like the Saturn Pro, just in general, safest option. Um, besides Skypad and Seraphad, any hard pad recommendations? I honestly no, but the Pulsar Super Glide pad coming out soon might be an option. I just don't have hard info on like how that pad actually feels or the price. But yeah, no, hard pads are not a, not a big thing. Just went on Amazon, saw the Death Hour V2 on sale for 60 It was 120 Yeah, and since the V3 came out, they really lowered the price of it. Price of Zebra Mouse, standard 95 It's not more expensive. Move to Chicago? Why? Why did I move out of NYC and go to Chicago? It makes no sense. Hello, my friend. Yo, what is up, mood? Zebra X2 stock feet good with the original Saturn? Uh, people are very mixed on the X2 stock feet. Maybe it's just because I, like, have had, like, a dozen copies of the mouse now. I just feel like they're fine, but I do see some people complain. Um, so I would say they're fine, but if you want other options, there are lots of aftermarket ones available. Because Chicago deep dish? That's sickening. I don't even, that's, like, not even in my vocabulary. What do you think about the Razer Basilisk Ultimate? I just bought it. Really, I'm not a fan of the Basilisk series, but if you're not looking for something, like, I optimized for FPS. I mean, I guess it's like a, it's an option. Is it safe switching like a egg shaped mouse, like the XD7 to a Lambda Lancer XMTWE? 
Um, I mean, it's definitely going to be a big shape difference, but I believe you have it in you to adjust to it, especially if you have claw grip and want a uh, want a back hump. Bro will never answer my question. I just did, but look at how many questions are in the chat. It's like it's just an insane amount. It's humanly impossible to answer them all. Imagine him moving their suitcases of mouses. Yeah, like moving like a significant amount of distance with all of the shit I have, it just doesn't seem ideal. How much is your rent? Not going to give the exact number, but between three and four. Are boom glides good? I don't even know what that is, honestly. I would presume some type of mouse skate, but what? Um, not really sure. Is Cordura mouse pad still worth it? I have not, like, nobody's really made any innovations with Cordura mouse pad. So if you're, like, you're looking for one, you know what you're going to get. But nobody's, like, made a truly high quality one yet. Like, I don't know if it's impossible to, like, have a better base and stitching just due to, like, material limitations. But someone needs to get on that. Can I see a bottom of Black Mouse? Um, yeah, this is the bottom of the Vax EXE. They have the pulling rate button. The uh, debounce time settings. How's it on both two and four MS debounce? Oh, now it's on two. Awesome. And a DPI button. Very cool. What's your favorite mouse? Um, honestly, right now I'm just in a testing phase where I don't have like a main, but I would say Death Adder V3 Pro. And in the time I answered that question, I just saw you send it six more times. That's impressive. Like, I, it didn't even take me that long to answer it. Um, what are those brown skates? Oh, these are an upcoming sample of control skates. Like, they're a similar material to, like, Hotline Master Skates. I just don't know the company. Um, Lethal Gaming Gear sent them out. I'm just, like, not sure which company's making them. But they're decent. Um, nothing crazy. Definitely prefer standard fast PTFE. Steel Series Prime review. That has to be a troll. I reviewed that mouse probably, like, two years ago, man. Hello, I'm very late. You're all good, man. Um, what is up? Not dead. Have you tried Red Dragon products? I have, and I've never been impressed by a single one. Would you re recommend Viper Beachy Pro for palm grip for Valor? Um, if you want a flat mouse, maybe, but I would recommend the Death Air V3 Pro over it for palm grip. Best mouse for palm grip? The Death Adder V3 Pro. There's a link to it in the uh, description of this stream I just realized. It literally, wait, all of the people asking me my favorite mouse, in the description it says main mouse, Death Adder V3 Pro. I've been asked that like hundreds of times. That's just insane to me that I just realized that. <laughs> EC2W over Death Adder V3. Honestly, in my experience, nah, I um, was not feeling that. But it's like a, still a really good mouse. I just don't know, like... Zowie is bugging a little bit with the price tag. A wee bit. How is Razer paying you? LMAO. They are not. My Pulsar X2 lasted less than two months. What do you mean? What happened to it? Like the clicks or something else? Why is your opinion, opinion of the M2K so underwhelming? Because it's just like... It's a box with a rubber cable and no side buttons. It's just not, like, actually usable for me. And, I mean, like, I have a great respect for IPS Blue, and I'm looking forward to the M3K, but it's just, like, I don't know. I feel like people put that mouse on a pedestal, and it's just, like, eh. Did you end up getting the last final mouse? They said they were going to send me a review unit, but I just, I don't know. I don't, I, I think they tweeted that they were a bit behind on the schedule somehow. Maybe they got fucked by like some shit in China, but yeah. M2S? What's the M2S going to be? Do they have any like hard info out? Because I went on their website a while ago and I didn't see anything. XM2W can have 4K. I don't know at launch, but um, at some point definitely. Please pressure manufacturers into making a super light G305. I have no, I have no pull when it comes to Logitech, but I would imagine we're going to see a super light G703 before a super light G305, if that ever comes out. But like the G3, G703 not being addressed is just insane. Have you got the HTX? No, but I believe you will ship me one. 
Uh, you'll see pretty soon Poderoso. Thoughts on the LA1 slash Lethal Gaming Gear Mouse? Um, I have a copy. It's literally been collecting dust. Um, this is like an early pre-production unit. I don't know what happened. I was going to ask legit later today like what the status is. But I would presume once again it's going to come out like just shortly after Chinese New Year. Like once the factories open up. How do you like relax on the XE versus GPX? Um, it's like pretty similar. Um, like you can pull off like the same grip. There's just going to be like different amounts of like palm contact. If you want like a fuller rounder hump in your palm, I would say go with the super light. Uh, and if you want something a bit like flatter, go with the XE. But they're actually like pretty similar mice. Just the super light beats in, in terms of weight. And I would not say Vaxi is like significantly better, like sensor feeling. Do you prefer mouse grips? Honestly, no. Like, I don't hate them. And like, I always try them if a company provides them. And I feel like the coating is shit. But I just like, for the most part, I prefer like a good grippy coating. Damn, who fuck is spamming so much? So many people, man. It actually makes it unreal. Like, if there is no spam, I feel like I would get a higher amount of questions, like, red, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll try slow mode for a stream at some point, but, you know, it's just cool. If people want to spam, so be it. Are you excited for a new upcoming Pulsar mouse? Which one? Um, but, yeah, there are, like, a lot of them, and I'm looking forward to all of them, especially the uh, Borzi edition. That's going to be crazy. More crazy. An X2 recolor. More crazy and everything else combined. Um, slow mode 30 seconds fixes it. 30 is too much though. Maybe like 10. Like, cause 30, that's like, I don't even know. <laughs> don't slow mode. I live for spam. Yeah, I can tell, man. Um, but at least you embrace it. Do any esports pros use grips on their mouse? Um, I got a comment that actually brings me back to like one of my first videos where I had like fucking baseball bat grip tape on my mouse. And some guy was like, no esport pro would ever use this. That comment just made me think of that. So I don't really think many do. But honestly, like all of these Apex and Valorant pros have kind of like changed the whole esport like peripheral scene. Why is the mouse pad space so still? Do you have any ideas for new mouse pads? Um, because basically anything coming out with a rubber base sucks and is a clone of a pad that already exists. People don't want to pay like $30 for like a, the same exact thing that's been out for like two years. It's just... Not many people are innovative. The only thing that can really happen is just like slightly new high quality surfaces like the ES2 or just like cloning pads that haven't been cloned yet. Twitch has anti-spam. Yeah, the Twitch has better like Nightbot and shit, but I just prefer the uh, streaming on YouTube. Like just the experience is better in my opinion. Favorite mouse under 50? I would recommend getting a Viper Mini than saving up for something better if you want. Um, do you think it's worth upgrading from the model DUI list to a Death Hour V3 for the 4K dongle, 4K 120Hz? I would say it's just worth it overall to upgrade, um, and the 4K dongle is just, like, on top of that will make it nicer. So I would say so, Marcos. Yeah, 120Hz, I don't know how much you're going to be noticing it, but I also have never gamed with 4K, so I don't know. What happens with that? Just need mousepad advice, please. Well, what's your question, man? And it's, like, really hard. Like, there's just so many mousepad questions. I'm like, which one do I want to read? And then I'm like, oh, I don't want to read any of them. <laughs> if the question is so pressing, um, just, like, donate a dollar. And then it will be, like, blue on my screen. So I'll be, like, glued to it. Uh, do you know any alternatives than the LG G Saturn Pro? For the Artisan Zero? There aren't like any other direct like options. M3K is already confirmed wired. See, that's disappointing. I think they need to like give up on the whole like lightest weight ever thing and just like just make a good wireless implementation. What's the problem with it, Cade? Was it like the clicks? Because that's gonna be addressed, but if it's something else, I'm not sure. How are you liking those headphones over your Focals? I honestly, like, I had my Focals running in the Scarlet 2 at you, so I realistically, like, don't even notice that much of a difference. Like, people always say the DT990 is, like, the treble's unbearable. It's really not. These are just, it's solid. I'm liking them. Very, uh, like, I don't have to think about it a lot. But, like, they do kind of fuck up my hair. Like, that's the one annoying thing. 
but that is not the actual audio experience. Is Inked better or worse than the Arson Zero? It's worse. Um, I don't feel like making a paying a mortgage worth of shipping fees. Um, well, where where are you located? Because if you're in America, you can get a Zero ship for like under sixty five dollars. Scroll wheel dysfunction, huh? That is weird. Were you able to like, get it replaced? Have you heard anything about the Lamzu Ergo Mouse? No, I don't think that's going to be going into produ production for another month or two. So, I mean, whenever it's ready, I'm sure they'll send me a unit. Teach us the boardsy triple mouse spin technique. You just got to, like, get the mouse and, like, throw it into your thumb, flick up, and then boom, mouse spin. Just got the Death Arrow V3. It's insane. Amazing. Is that the vaccine in hand? It is indeed. Why do you dislike Raiden over other fast pads with more texture? I don't know. The Raiden, like, originally my Raiden mid kind of just went to shit in terms of durability. Then I tried the X soft one. I just thought that was, like, a really weird pad. It's like a pancake. Not a lot of... I don't know, I just did not like the Raiden X Soft. So, I don't know. Just did not have great experiences with it compared to other pads. But when it was fast, it was like very buttery. Insane texture. Um, do you think Lamzu is better than the Super Light? I would not say that. Do you think any good mice are coming out this year? Yeah, of, <laughs> of course. It's a pretty sick year for mice already. Like... Just mice that I don't have that I'm getting in the next week. The Atlantis Mini, um, XM2 Wireless Essential, G Wolves HTX. Like, those are crazy mice, like under 50 grams and shit. Well, besides the XM2. Um, yo, Jeremy, with the $1. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> when will your Pulsar collab come out? Mid February, after China has opened back up and finishes production. Small to medium flagships are seriously lacking. Um, yeah, I kind of agree. Like, Logitech has not, like, Logitech really just won't make any new shapes with actually, like, good tech and weight. It's really interesting. If a GPX Mini came out, would you use it? Probably. Big if, though. 17 CM hands. Yeah, I would go with X2 Mini, Nathan. What do you think about Pulsar's 2023 lineup? It looks really impressive. Um, they have like improved X lights, the more narrow, higher hump X2. So it's like a ZA than the 4k wireless X2. So it's like, how do you know? Is that the mouse that's like 4k wireless and 8k wired at the same time? That's like insane. Logitech innovate challenge. Impossible. Yeah. I don't understand what Logitech is up to. It's my last video. What is Logitech doing or whatever it's called? Who watched that? That was a banger video. What mouse are you currently using? Um, just to like control the stream and shit, I have the uh, XE wireless from Vaxi plugged in, but I'm just testing a lot of shit right now, honestly. Alan Rodriguez with the R10. Still no currency that is, but I appreciate it, man. What's your main mouse found the Death Hour V3 Pro? I need suggestions. I play a quick three mod game, fast paced FPS, heavy tracking, but there's flicks too. I mean, Death Hour V3 Pro and Razer Strider. I honestly, for games that are not as fast as that, I've been using the Saturn Pro. Um, but if you're looking for something like, you could try a Venus, like a Lethal Gaming Gear Venus. Um, I find that should just be like a bit less abrasive and it's like have a better glide feeling compared to the Strider. But yeah, really just like, you can go whatever route with the Death Hour V3 Pro. Do you know any amp... Uh, there was the Ferdecki pad, Verona, but that went out of production, so I honestly don't know any at this point. Saturn Pro's never in stock for NA. It was in stock, right? Or no, no, they the Vetus Pro is restocked. They're still, like, waiting on the shipment with that. Venus or Venus Pro? I honestly prefer the regular Venus, Kevin. <laughs> Do you like the Oda Infinity at all? Yeah, of course. Um... I don't know if it's better than the Lethal Gaming Gear Mercury, because that's on a sale for $15. Um, but the Infinity was like one of the first he and clones to get it right. Three to four months for more Saturn Pros? That's honestly brutal. I don't know what the 
They're probably winning on sea shipping, but I don't know what's up with production for those. When's the next setup Sunday? Next Sunday. Would be tomorrow, but I have something to go to, and then um, fucking football. NFL season ruined setup Sunday. Blame the NFL. <laughs> How's the XE wireless first impression? Honestly, really good first impressions. It's like kind of what I was expecting, and it's just like compared to the Zowie wireless, it's like a better taste in my mouth. Um, but yeah, it's still like not the lightest option out there. But the shape for relaxed claw is just like nice, and it's like a way. It's just nicer. It's like Vaxi had to go wireless, and this is a pretty good implementation. Are you a Giants fan? No, I'm a Jets fan. Um, can you talk about it again? What do you mean by it, Eric? Um, yo, Ryzen with the 99 cents. I appreciate that. Do you live in the UK? Do I sound like I live in the UK? Actually, no. That was not... That was a rude response. I apologize. No, I live in the United States. I live in the beautiful United States of America. Um, Brooklyn, New York specifically. <laughs> not the not the dirty trader United Kingdom. Uh, yo, Boardsy, since the Glorious Series 1 Pro is actually available, wait, where? Um, that's interesting, though. Would you recommend it for a Viper Mini wireless alternative for now? Um, I, that's interesting. I honestly still would not. But I, where's it on sale? Like, uh, Max Gaming, maybe? <laughs> Yo, Plurdo, no offense to the, uh, no offense to the UK. Shout out to them, man. Yo, what's up, Tony? How are you doing? Do you know if Steel Series is working on it, on any mice? Hopefully not, but honestly, I don't know. I'm just kidding, of course. Hopefully they're working on the Apex Pro of mice. Like, they're one good product. They just need one of those. Um, Case King? Oh, yeah, got it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like, it's just a very decent mouse. I don't think it's anything that's going to really impress you. Between the Atlantis Mini, X2 Mini, and XM2 Wii, which one's the best in your eyes? Um, I'm really looking forward to like an actual, just a, the Endgame Gear mouse. But, I mean, I haven't tried two of those mice, so it's really hard to say. But at the X2 Mini for fingertip is definitely going to be the best option. Can I get my dollar back? I meant to put one cent. You can't even donate one cent, so I don't know how that works. Take it up with a YouTube man. Oh my god, Mick. Okay, that is a ban. Or it's a timeout, whatever. That is too intense spamming. Um do you have to look forward to wear and tear on the mouse kits on the Super Glide mouse pad? Probably. It's a glass pad, so, I mean, it would be like the first glass pad that doesn't tear up skates. Um, I'm just not sure about the price on that. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Like, if they could manage to make a budget, like, glass pad, that would be insane. Glorious i2 wireless? Man, I fucking forgot about that thing. Wait, and the O2 wireless? Oh my god. Did anybody else just totally forget about those glorious mice? When are they supposed to come out? That's insane. How is the Pulsar mouse pad compared to LGG and Artisan? Really does not remind me of any Artisan pads. Kind of reminds me of the Saturn Pro, uh, but the texture is more like, just felt like, kind of like the uh, GPZ1. It definitely is a, a controlled pad. So, I'd say, like, low-key compares a bit better to the Vax GPA and GSRSE than the Arson Zero. Hey, how is the XM1R in your opinion? It's, like, good, but I just really would not recommend buying the wired variant anymore when the wireless budget one is $80. Have you tried the dual mouse pad? Yeah, it was just, like, I don't know, I just was nothing special. Honestly, had, like, a somewhat similar surface feeling to the ES2, though. Yo, Marcus, with the $2, your thoughts on the wall help mouse pad? I posted a review of it. It's, like, one of the better Hien clones. Like, 500 by 500 feels like an Aqua Control 2 texture. It's just, like, nice. Um, it's, like, somewhat gritty and, not, like, mildly abrasive, which is what I look for. Like, I hate smoothed-out hybrid pads. This guy's asking for a Valorant mouse pad in the chat. He hates the Saturn, he says. I don't know. Um, maybe like a Hien if you just want something totally different. Add slow chat? Probably will for an next stream for this. I'll just let it I'll just let it be. 
Thoughts on the ES2? I feel like I've already given them like 30 times. I feel like I just gave them like two minutes ago. Just go back um, in the stream. Are you going to review the Spire Kamek mouse pad? Uh, pff, I don't know. Um, maybe. They've never offered me one. Is it normal to tilt the mouse? Um, like, tilt it like that while you're aiming? I would say no. Like, tilt it, like, in your wrist, kind of? Yeah. I hear my dog barking. Are you going to do a review about different water brands one day? Nah, I mean, that would imply that something's going to take me off Poland Spring, which is my main water. And I just don't see that happening because it's Endgame. OMG YouTube stream. You know it, man. Incredible YouTube streams. Do you have a GF? Something like that. Any decent how to Otsu alternatives? I would say the standard Lethal Gaming Gear Venus is just like an impressive Otsu alternative. I mean, the. Nah, the Pulsar ES1 does not like actually feel like uh, Otsu. Any rating clones in the market yet? No, but I'm pretty sure GameSense is working on one. Got the XM2 Wii. I think it'll be Boardsy Seal of Approval. We'll have to find out, man. Um. Do you think the Atlantis Mini is a good middle ground between a Final Mouse Small and a Super Light? Um, in terms of shape? Probably not. Um, in terms of, like, I don't even know what you mean by middle ground, but it's not a bad option if you're looking for, like, a small claw grip mouse. Do you know any wireless mice similar to the Model O minus? Love this small flat shape, but it breaks quickly and I want something better quality. I'd recommend just going with like an X2 Mini, unless like you think the, no, nah, it's like doesn't have an obtrusive hub. I would say X2 Mini, um, obviously like a Starlight Small, but that's way too, it's pretty expensive, pretty big upgrade. How's the HTX 4K? Um, I don't have the HTX, but if you mean like the standard Hot ES Plus 4K, I don't have any issues besides my original unit that had the uh, side button issues and whatever problem I had with the clicks. Rog Harp Ace? I've just, like, not really been using it. It's just not, like, a not a crazy good mouse, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to do with my hands there. My GF thinks you're hot as fuck. Um, appreciate that, Lofo Butter. Um... Are you going to review the new Final Mouse? Of course. Whenever Final Mouse releases a new mouse, I will be all over it. I just don't know. I just don't know when that exactly is going to be. And their keyboard, which is going to be first. Um, greetings from Denmark. Have you tried the Vaxi PA Black? Um, yeah, I did. I just never made a review on it. Um, think about replacing that with my LGG. Wait, you, so you're replacing... You're getting a Saturn for more control? I'm like confused by the wording of that message. But yeah, I would say go for it. Any mouse pad change you want. Middle ground as in weight. Oh, um, yeah, well, it definitely is at that point. It's like 49 grams. What type of mouse pad works best with glass skates? I would say, like, not standard cloth pad, something hybrid with a bit of texture on it. Is there science for initial friction, dynamic friction, and good aim? What's perfect? I don't think so. I think you could be good on anything. It's just a lot harder. If, like, there's low friction, low weight, like, it's going to be harder to have good aim, but... I don't know, some people are like really schizo where they're like, all friction is bad. And I just don't think it's possible to argue that. Honest opinion on the Razor Strider. At this point, I just like, I don't know, it's just like a bit too abrasive. Like they kind of made it, like they went too intense with the um, like density of the weave. Like they could have like scaled it down a bit, had it a bit more similar to the Heian, and that probably would have been better, but it's still like one of the best like widely available hybrid pads. Um, do you really have no contact with Logitech? You're one of the top mouse reviewers at this point? Yeah, no, I'm serious. Like they've never reached out to me. Um, I They do know of me because they got mad when I leaked the Shroud mouse. Um, and maybe that's the reason why. But yeah, I've always like just been no contact with Logitech. And it's not like, I'm not really crying about that, but it would be nice to get their uh, shit early. Hyper x Lite V3 or Lamzu Thorn? Um, pr probably the x Lite just because of all of the multiple sizes and seeing, because uh, that has optical switches, right? Just seeing how that is um, comes together. Who do you have winning the Super Bowl this year? I have the 49ers beating the Chiefs. You heard it here first. Brock Purdy, Super Bowl MVP. 
Do you like the Skypad? I honestly do. I went through a phase a few months ago where I was just so bored with mouse pads. I was just like testing a Skypad for probably like a few months and I got used to it and it was sick. Sick pad. Definitely an investment. Definitely not for everybody or like objectively the best, but it's fun to use and did not feel like a negative in terms of performance after a while. Thoughts on the Pulsar power speed? I would say it just didn't ever feel great or exceptionally like high quality, but they really got it together with the EST. Like you see this shit is a hundred percent flat. And even though I peeled up earlier, it's peeling off the desk again. Pretty sick pad. Um, 49ers fan chiefs hard counter us every time. Yeah, but they don't have an answer for Brock Purdy. Um, and as a non 49ers fan, you can trust me on that one. Um, Did you talk about the new Bruce Lee mouse pad yet? Yeah, I've talked about it a lot, honestly. And I'm going to do a full review maybe tomorrow because I don't know like what my next upload is going to be. So maybe that. Super light fine for big hands or do you recommend any other mouse? I use palm grip. I mean, if you have a super light and you like it, no reason to really upgrade. But I would say Death Hour V3 Pro is a li bit better. Um, $2 review the Talon Games glass gates. Did I read that already? I literally have short term memory loss, but maybe. Um, glass gates, what do I make them for? Are they like a universal model? Need more info on it. Elo shapes, you know, opinion on the upcoming Pulsar glass pad. I'm a bit worried it will slow down like the skates. I don't think it's the same material. I see a lot of people who are saying that. Let me check their Twitter to see if I'm like blatantly wrong, but I don't think it's like gonna be like that material. I'm not sure if it would make sense for a full pad. Um, no, they say it is tempered aluminum silicate glass. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I don't know at that point. I'm waiting to like get it in hand to really judge it. Do you don't you agree artists and mouse pads aren't big enough? I don't think four ninety by four twenty is too small, but I do think they should have like a five hundred by five hundred option. I do feel like that's better. I love the MZ one shape. That's based. What do you mean you're sorry? They should make a pro version though. Give Rocket Jump Ninja some more money in my opinion. Do you think HTS 4K is an upgrade from the GPX for a claw grip user? If you want a smaller shape, um, but honestly not like, I would not say so. Did your last legend ship yet? Nah. I also don't know if they're going to let me know when it ships. Was it the coating on the skates that wore down or the glass itself? People, the theory was that the glass wore down the pads um, that it was on, but I think it had something to do with like humidity in the skates. Honestly, like, nobody knows. But there was a coating on the first batches that definitely wore down. But, like, beyond that, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Best mouse for a gay person. I don't know. Um, you could check out some of Logitech's inclusive options, perhaps. Um, yeah, I was trying to see if Pulsar said anything about the Surface. Atlantis mini review dropping soon. I'm getting, I'm supposed to get it on the 23rd, so I can almost guarantee a review before the end of the month. Um, Boardsy, what did you have for breakfast? What did I have for breakfast? Oh, I had a, uh, a ham and cheese croissant from a local, um, like, little store. Little bakery, I guess you could call it. It was very French feeling. Your opinion on glass gates with mud pads? Just really not for me. Um, you can do it if you want a ton of control. Best mouse for a person without hands. That's a good question. Maybe a GPX. You can just like for use it with your forearm. I'd say it's like more ideal than anything else. Sounds like a fancy breakfast. I mean, it was just like a little, I saw the croissant. I'm like, you know, I, I would like this. <laughs> Very exquisite eats. Is Pulsar releasing 4K pulling rate dongle this year? I think one of their releases is just going to come with it. The Eastward edition. Um, I do think that is planned for this year. What is the heaviest mouse you can get for a claw gripper? I mean, if you, like, look at some of the old releases, there's shit that's, like, well over 120 grams. I don't know what you're looking for, though. If you're looking for, like, around 80, um, plenty of options. So many questions, Jesus. I mean, it's, like, slowed down a bit as well. Like, an hour ago, like, early on in the stream, it was crazy. Um, but I really appreciate it. It's been a very unique and awesome stream. What's your lucky color of the year? Um... 
That's that's an insane question. Like, I have no answer prepared for this. I'm going to go with green, though. Um, will Skypad 3.0 damage Tiger Ice Fee? It's not like it's going to damage them, but obviously, like, using a soft thing like PTFE on glass, they're going to get scratched up and wear down faster than on a standard cloth pad. Boards is our god. He answers all our questions. I try to. I am uh, going as fast as I can. Is Ponage dead? It's hard to say. I kind of think they are, though. Like, I don't know if they're going to be able to cook up any relevant releases. HTX 4K? Yes, that is uh, on the way, I think. VaxiXZ is kind of a mix of, like, a, a GPX without a prominent back hump and, like, an FK, I would say. You went to CES, right? If so, what do you think about OLED monitors and them going 200 hertz plus? I think I was, like, considering the... 1440p um oled from lg right that's the company yeah i tweeted about it yesterday i was like is this monitor the truth because i see so many the monitors seem so fucking contentious i i want to start reviewing them because it seems like i don't know it seems like people cannot agree on what is actually the best but i, I really do want to try it um ces did get me interested in monitors it wasn't like too cool though like it was cool but it was like bit underwhelming it's very hard to describe we need a glossy version yeah i saw a lot of people were complaining about the matte coating i, I just don't even know if that's going to be an issue that i care about um it's insane any skypad alternatives i had one but the hair issues were crazy and it's cold um mpc4 yeah if you're looking for a non-glass pad you could go with an mpc450 honestly the stitching on that just isn't great should I get Lethal Gaming or Glass Skates? They're really cheap if you want to try Glass Skates. Um, I would just generally recommend PTFE. What monitor are you on now? Dude, I've been on the Acer 390 hertz for like what feels like 18 months now. So I like really want to switch off of it. And like I've been interested in monitors for a year now. But everybody's like, oh, just wait. Monitors are coming out like soon. And it's so annoying, man. Uh, monitor reviews in the future? I would like to. That's like one thing I'd like to get into. Um, audio just is not me mice mouse pads obviously awesome keyboards like if innovative stuff comes out i'll review it um and it seems like monitors are the thing that makes sense do you game at night with the lights on or off it's honestly like it varies night to night i'm uh i don't have a strict position on that too expensive for cheap coding got it Matt monitor finish never really bothered me. Yeah, I, I don't even know. All of the YouTubers I know who got it are saying it's, like, sick. I'm just looking for something that's, like, I don't know. <laughs> I literally don't know what I want from a monitor. When's the Board Z X2 coming? Uh, next month. Mid-February is what it is. Is what it is estimated for after Chinese New Year, getting it shipped to them, ready to distribute across the world. I just realized Catherine's answering all of these questions. Got to add a little moderation. Feel free to do whatever you want with the moderation privilege. When are you reviewing the Atlantis Mini? Um, getting it in two days probably. So review should be before the end of the month. Let's go, man. Um, more to would you come to my wedding and make a review on my wife? Uh, maybe, yeah. I should start doing wedding services as well. Desperately need GPX Mini? I don't know if we are like ever going to see a new shape from logitech that is my hot take we saw the g705 which was actually a new shape never mind maybe that's their last one are you prod maybe i do look like prod if people are going to keep asking high pulling rate wife um that is funny opinion on wait hyper x pulsar haste or viper mini i would go with the viper mini serif um you should make more videos on DPI variability on each mice you review and compare it to other mice so we know if we'll try to change. Just don't care about DPI deviation. That is my advice about it. Like, it literally doesn't matter. Um, so I'm probably not going to start testing it. I doubt Logitech knows how to do shapes anymore. Yeah, they just haven't done one in a while. They like, have no idea what a mold is anymore. They just have what they already made. Link us to your Spotify playlist. Um, see, I am like insane and i use youtube music so i can't do that um i remember you said you're on break from studies uh what did you study i was a psych major and it's just like i don't know um that was not particularly inspiring the shit kind of took off so i was like eh, i can't afford to take a break 
can I have one of those water bottles? Uh, the auction is starting at $100 for each used Poland Spring water bottle. Feel free to just uh, super chat and I can get one your way. You ever think of making your own brand for mice, etc.? It's just too hard um, to like actually come up with something like, unless you, like, actually have a factory, you're just so limited by, like, so many factors. Because I've, like, been... I've talked with a lot of companies who, like, got into mouse production. Like, especially Lethal Gaming Gear. I've learned a lot. And it's just, like, man, that shit is... It's not easy. And you need a ton of money as well. Um, I told you you'll quit psychology. I mean, I always knew. I never thought I was, like, a... Never thought I had a career in the psych, psychological field. My sister is a psych major and now she's a librarian. See, that's a it's a pathway that exists. What headset are you using? It's the Biodynamic DT990 Pros. Um, never thought you'd be a major in psychology. So I, I was just going to college for free because in New York, there's this thing called CUNY. Um, so basically, everybody gets into a city, like four-year college for free. And I was just like, okay, this major doesn't seem um, too annoying. <laughs> and I was like, wow, this is extremely boring. And I failed a psychology of women class because I went to final con. And that was kind of the breaking point for me because um, I just missed the final. I was like, wow, this is awesome. Why, Borzy, why am I built like a turtleneck sweater? I don't know. I don't even know what that means. What happened to your focals? They literally broke. I dropped them like a hundred, a hundred times probably. And eventually the headband just snapped where the magnesium meets the plastic and I just have them. They're still, like, broken. If anybody wants to buy them for a low price, um, I will sell you some broken focals. If you want to, like, strip the magnesium drivers. Brother, upgrade to IEMs and never look back. I've tried IEMs on multiple occasions. I was thinking about making a video on how IEMs are, like, some type of social experiment because they're just terrible, in my opinion. I don't even know. Um... I've tried, like, I don't even know. Just never gonna like IAMs. IAMs are superior? Wrong. It's okay, though. Um, yo, what's up, Mitch Silva? First time catching your stream in time. Yeah, it seems like this was a good time for, like, EU and just, like, around the world for people again in the stream. Muhammad Osama with the 20-sec um, FX0 XSoft versus Saturn Pro for Radiant Valorant. Um, I would recommend watching my Saturn Pro review for, like, a full response because I compare them. But I would just say a Saturn Pro. Like, I prefer the size slightly prefer the like just overall feeling and the lack of the hair issue but like if you have a zero x off you're not gonna be like worse off performance wise it's just like there's not a big actual like in-game difference but i just prefer saturn pro man and i've had mine for a while and it has not like worn down whatsoever i like ims for being in bed on phone i mean yeah i just have like airpods for that i feel like they uh get the job done if you want like i don't know i just feel like gaming you can put a headset on <laughs> True elo shapes. Uh, do you know any mouse pads close to the Shinkai? Nobody has actually made a mouse pad with like a production process similar to the Shinkai, but there are all there are lots of alternatives like the Vancer Ice, um, just like Glorious Ice, Vancer Ace, just shit like that. But it's really not the same. I still have my um, I still have like a Shinkai in the box. That's my best investment. <laughs> Um, I wish there was a harder base for a Saturn Pro. They're making one. They're coming out with a multi-hardness system, so I'm not sure how soon that'll be, but they will make a mid one. Vancer Ice. True. I don't, I just grabbed this mouse that goes a fucking water bottle. Um, you're invited to my wedding. Let's go, man. Appreciate the 20 more sec. Um, I'll use it. Use all of these sec to get to your wedding. Best headset under $200? Um, with my, like, limited knowledge, well, by headset, if you want a mic, I honestly have no idea. I don't think any of that shit's good, but DT990 is pretty good price. Hottie HTX Ace review coming. Yes, man. Um, pretty soon. Should be getting that sometime soon. How's the puppy dude? Amazing. He's coming along very well. He's gotten quite large. Well, just, like, relatively large. He's just a, uh, he's just a superstar puppy. Show us the puppy. He's just in another room. I'll see if I have any, any baller pictures of him, though. Um, I just saw a comment. Have you tried the Super Beings Lab pad? Yeah, I did. And I was just like, wow, this is not too crazy. 
it felt like like I could not really differentiate it from an Aqua Control Plus. Look at him. Goat puppy. Just chewed on his stick. Not a care in the world. What breed is your puppy? Um, a skipper key. Have you felt the touch of a woman? Yes. What exactly do you do as a part of RA? You have head staff role on the Discord. I am technically a co-owner of RA. I am uh, currently doing shit a bit behind the scenes in terms of like peripheral stuff though. But yeah, I'm not like involved in the day-to-day -day operations of Revosect. But yeah, I did make my um, aim lab playlist with RA. Is that in the description? I don't think it is in the description. But yeah, if you want to play the boardsy playlist, I should uh, get a link to that. Thoughts on Paracord M42? Just kind of outdated at this point. Like, it's not bad, but it's not um, like a top option in 2023, I'd say. Um, favorite mouse coming of all time? Also, thank you for being a W YouTuber represent Brooklyn. Yes. I always think like I'm representing the 718 at the end of the day. Uh, but favorite coding of all time, it has to be either GPX or XM1R. Like the OG XM1R coding is probably it. What's your grid shot? Um, I, I don't know if I've ever gone past 130K, honestly. But I've also like never sat, like I've never really grinded out grid shot. But I did like grind out like Kovacs tile frenzy, so I think it kind of transfers, but... I don't know, it's just never, something about Grinshot never gave me the same rush that Tile Frenzy gave me. Rookie numbers, then 130k plus, damn, the duality of man. But yeah, no, I'm sure if I like put a few weeks into grinding it, I could get that score up, especially if I find the ideal mouse. That'd be a great video idea, the best mouse for a grid shot. Probably not at this point, honestly. What's your Tile Frenzy? On the standard Kovacs Tile Frenzy? Oh, fuck, I don't know what it is, actually. It's above 150. It's nothing crazy, though. Like, it's not above 170. <laughs> Can give you that range. What mouse is in your hand? The Vaxi XE Wireless. Sorry, my phone is in the view. Why have you not reviewed the Vanser Ice yet? I literally did. I'm, like, almost positive of it. How do I avoid my mouse from slipping out of my hand? I have hyperhidrosis. Is that, like, actually the sweat thing? I, I don't know, man. Maybe, like, I have no idea. Don't they make, like, anti-sweat, like, shit you put on your hands? Uh, my RSN0 has become a little rougher on the surface. Is that normal? Um, Yeah, I would say that, like, my... My zero soft from like three years ago at this point has definitely gotten rougher over time. A little grittier. Gives it some personality. Uh, more of my should include comfort grooves on M1 and M2. I agree, like subtle comfort grooves can be nice. People say it restricts like finger positioning, but like only if you're holding the mouse in like a brain dead way, in my opinion. Boards eat the goat, no cap. I appreciate that. Um. Can you hit the gritty? In the right situation, maybe at the next boards you come. Uh, bottled water versus tap water. I just like, if you guys think I shill any mice or mouse heads, I shill pull and spring like a million times harder. This shit is just unbelievable water. 100% natural spring water. If you're from New York, you get it. Um, I used KPU once and PB 182. Dude, the KPU is just the ultimate Kovacs mouse. It doesn't work in game, but it's the god Kovacs mouse. They should um they should make a new one though. Like what are what's Rocket doing? Tips on cleaning dust from a mouse sensor if you really need to, like a can of air, I guess. Sportsy play Valor? No. Um I've like played it like individual times on many occasions, but I just like never got into it. It just seems like they should pay you to pay, play that game. It's, I don't get it. <laughs> you done a dog review yet? Yeah, I did do a puppy review. And I think I made a review of my other dogs as well, which is weird to think about. Like, there are reviews for all of my dogs on my YouTube channel. Um, will you try the Xenix GT Titan Air Wireless KPU clone? Did I try that already? No, I think I still haven't bought that. Um, I might, honestly. You're so attractive, masculine, and hypnotizing, Boardsy. How do I become like you? It all starts with a gaming mouse addiction. That's all I can say. 
What GPU are you rocking these days? Still a 3080 Ti. Have not really felt the need to upgrade it. Do you enjoy playing Minecraft? No. Fucking hiccup. It's from all the water. What control mouse pad do you recommend? Uh, Saturn Pro Artisan Zero. This uh, Pulsar ES2. Definitely up there. Stay tuned for the uh, review on that. What's the width of that mouse you're holding? I, I don't know, man. I'll uh, put it next to some other mice so you can uh, relatively see the width, but I would just recommend looking up Pulse, or the Vax EXE measurements and get yourself some uh, exact numbers. What is the best mouse and mouse pad for Fortnite? I don't know. I would say like a, if you're looking for something fast, just like a Heian GPX, it's the safest combo, but there are lots of options now, honestly. You could get a Death Adder V3 Pro, could get like an X2, Lamzu Atlantis. All depends on your budget and your wants. Are Lamzu sending you an Atlantis Mini? Yeah, or you have the tracking. It should get here in like two days. Um, did you experience double clicks with the Sora? Nah, a little weird skips. No, I did not have any sensor pulling rate issues, but I did hear that some copies did, which is weird to me. Um, and I did not get the Lamzu pad, but I would imagine they're going to send me it at some point. Um, that, that was like random, though. I did not know they were going to make a new pad. Death Hour V3 Pro best ergo at the moment? Yeah, in my opinion. It kind of clears everything else. But some people are going to like the Zowie Wireless, and there's lots of new shit coming out soon, like the Lamzu Thorn updated X, X Lite V2. Bro, why do you lie about your hand size? They're max 19 by 10, not 20 by 11. For real, for real. I literally measured them on the Aim Lab pad the other day. Um, so I don't know. You can take that up with a, like a ruler. I don't know. Have you ever had a terrible mouse-related incident, like an explosion? No. Um, could have had one with the uh, HSK Pro 4K, but I guess I dodged a, uh, dodged a bullet with that. When will we review the XM2 Wii? Um, I should be getting that, like, next week. I'm not sure. Like, Endgame Gear... I've not gotten a tracking number yet, so I low-key might just buy one because I don't want to deal with like just being in review unit limbo. Do you have a girl? Something like that. Interesting. Got a, uh, been asked that a few times. Do you think Logitech should make G703 wireless? Absolutely. Um, will they, though? For I don't know. It is hard to tell with Logitech. XM2 Wii coding is goaded? That's like the one thing they had to do. Literally... To make wireless, don't fuck up the implementation, keep the coding, and then that's all they needed. What would you suggest trying after the Ninjutsu Sora? It seems like the Lamzu Atlantis Mini is like a good, like similar mouse. I just don't have that in hand yet. Um, and that's presuming you've already tried like an X2 Mini. Would you use a G502 if it was under 60 grams? Probably if it was like under 75 grams and wireless. Like, I would use it more than I do now. Wish the Vaxxu was 60-ish grams. Would have been endgame? Yeah, honestly, like, compared it to the Super Light, it's definitely, like, noticeably heavier, but I just don't feel like that ruins the mouse. Like, there's definitely still, like, you can still enjoy the mouse for what it offers. What are best mice with optical switches? Definitely the Razer offerings, the, uh... Pulsar Bruce Lee edition, followed by the um, XM2 Wii, and MM712 has them as well, right? Those are the ones that come to mind, but yeah. Opticals are getting more popular, which is dope. Thoughts on the Final Mask keyboard? It seems pretty insane. Um, the version with the better, like, 8K Hertz adjustable actu actuation should be cool as well. Um, but yeah, just a really out there idea from Final Mouse. Any new Logitech mice? No, not to my knowledge. What do you think of the M2K? You can watch my review. It's nothing that I um, was ever in love with. I just wish they made, like, I wish it didn't have the rubber cable and wasn't just such a small box without side buttons. By the way, who is your Zowie contact? Um, I have, like, a few. Because they've messaged me on their, like, global account and their America account. So I just, like, I don't know. <laughs> That's how it is with most companies. You just talk to, like, a lot of people. Or some companies where you just only talk to like a Twitter account and never know a name, which is awesome. Did you get grip tape with your Lamzu Atlantis? I believe I did. 
Opinions on foot pedals plus trackball mouse. Um, I don't think any of those are... I mean, foot pedals can be cool for, like, a push-to-talk bind or something, but I don't think either of those are really optimal for gaming. If I guess super light, what glides should I get? Just, I'd go with Tiger Eyes. Can you say anything about the durability of the MPC 450? Yeah, like, very good durability. That's all I gotta say about it. Would you like to see a G903 super light? Not really as much as any other Logitech mouse, but... I wouldn't like be opposed to it. I just feel like that one has a lot of buttons, right? So probably be harder to get like super light. Do you think the 703 shape is better than the Death Eye V3? It's interesting. Like I really, I love the way the back of the 703 feels in my palm, like unlike any other Ergo mouse basically. But the Death Eye V3 is just like, it's so goaded. Logitech would actually have to like make something that's a similar weight, if not lighter have like better build quality, implement opticals well. Like it would take a lot, but could be crazy. G305 super light. I just don't know like if they're ever going to do that. We need a mouse and keyboard con. Well, that's essential. I don't know. Like that would be, I don't know who would organize that, but uh, someone needs to, I don't know where it would be. Wordsy Fest, though, that's going to be insane. Um, X Zebra X2 available in EU? Yeah, Max Gaming is going to have it. Um, they might have, like, half of the units or something, so it's going to be very, very available. Um, do you know anything about the upcoming RS and RM series? No, and I probably won't get a review unit now that they seized their partnership with Lethal Gaming Gear, so I honestly have no idea about new artists and shit. Is the Black Mouse the XE Wireless? It is. It is indeed. Um, will Boardsy Fest have any perks for people who went to BoardsyCon? Um, probably not. I don't even know how that would, uh, how I would go about verifying that. But, yeah, I don't know. What kind of performance does that yellow mouse head do? It's a control pad from Pulsar with a, uh, they say it's X soft, but it's three millimeters, so it's like you're not. Go oh no, they actually just say it's soft. Um, but yeah, like three millimeter control pad from Pulsar kind of feels like a more felt like coating than a standard smooth cloth pad, somewhat similar to a GSRSE though. What's different with your X2 variant besides colorway? Um, compared to the standard models, like the black and the red ones, it has an improved coating, and also Huano Blue Shell Pink Dot switches instead of just other switch options. Which, in my opinion, after testing, like, five different X2s with mechanical switches in them, I figured that the, um, the Juanos just felt the best and were the best implementation. And the release was actually delayed to, like, get the click um, quality like, super tuned in. Yo, Ma Muhammad Osama with the 20 sec. Dude, we appreciate you helping us. I appreciate that, man. It's a... It is fun to stream and answer all of these questions. I appreciate all of the support. And Gondex Tech with the dollar fitty. Appreciate that, man. Do you think the Lambda Atlantis Mini will be better than the OG? It potentially. I'm gonna need to get it in hand first. Um, I still don't even know what the shape's gonna be like if I'll prefer that. I think I will. Temp tattoos, that's funny. I like, almost got one of those as a joke in Vegas. What do you think Logitech Who'd, what do you think Logitech would benefit from the most? I feel like a G703 Superlight just makes sense because there are so many people who use the G703. Like, it's not like the Viper Mini Wireless where it's like a budget mouse and Razer saying that, like, there's not actually as much demand for it. Like, the 703 is popular as fuck. I just don't understand. Maybe they just don't want to take away from, like, GPX sales. Maybe Logitech's, like, playing corporate 4D chess that we just can't understand. Is there any reason for people to buy the Atlantis and not the XM2 Wii? Is that, I don't know. I still haven't gotten the XM2 Wii in hand. Um, but it's like only a... There's not a big price difference yet. So it just comes down to like which mouse you prefer. Which gaming mouse company do you feel will dominate this year? I mean, just off of announced releases, it's looking like Pulsar. They have literally like three completely new mice coming. I can't think of another company that really is doing the same. Like, G-Wolves could, but G-Wolves has just always kind of been scuffed. They've never gotten unscuffed. 
XM2W1? I have no idea. They kind of just, like, got everybody to forget about that with the xm 2 e Fresh reviews just upload? No way. What did he upload? Final Mass Hyperlight? If that comes out this year, that would be crazy. That would be sick, though. Vaxi's dropping wireless versions on all of their current mice? Yeah, the NPO1S wireless is going to be dope. First thoughts on XD wireless? Um, it's honestly good. Like, clicks are good. Quality's good. I like the shape a lot. It just feels like uh, feels like the wired one just improved. Um, the only thing is the weight, which is in what, 76 grams. And people are just going to automatically dismiss it because of that. But I don't feel like it really ruins it. Do you think less than 50 grams is overkill? Not if it's, like, well-balanced and nice, but just sacrificing structure and weight balancing just to have that, like, lighter weight number? I don't think that's worth it. How light is too light? Probably, like, under 20 grams. I don't know. Like, it really depends. Like, some people think 60 grams is too light, but it all depends on, like, what you adjust to. Are you going to buy an M3K? Yeah, of course. And try whatever Zone Koenig puts out. I just don't know if it'll be uh, life-changing for me. Best artist in mousepad for tack shooters? I would say the Zero, but tons of people also use the Heian. Um, best wired light mouse? I don't even know. Best wired light mouse. Thinking about wired mice, like, it's just hard for me at this point. Everything dropping is wireless. Oh, fuck. My camera died, which is generally a sign that the stream is coming to an end. So... I think with that, I'm going to call it for this lovely stream. Honestly, that might have been like the highest viewership um, YouTube stream I've ever had. So I appreciate all of the support, all of the questions. I can't even imagine like how many messages were sent. Um, but yeah, it was fucking dope. Appreciate everybody who super chatted as well. Um, hope everybody has an awesome rest of their weekend. Should upload tomorrow. Might be a Pulsar pad review. Um, stay tuned for that, and yeah, peace out, everybody.